What's going on everybody, Jay Lawson here and I am back with another video. If you enjoy these videos and this, uh, these math videos are helpful to you in any way, please be sure to click that like button and subscribe as I will be producing more and more content over the next few weeks. Um, I pulled this uh, particular math problem from an ASVAB practice uh, test, so this is the type of math that you will see on the ASVAB. I actually saw this style of question on several different tests, and I remember from taking the ASVAB that several problems were like this on there as well, so I really want you guys to make sure that you're able to answer these style of problems um, when they come up and immediately know how to tackle them. And keep in mind, the subject matter is not really what's important with the uh, question. It's more of the, the way to answer it. So this particular problem, a sum of ages problem with arithmetic reasoning, you can see it presented in a lot of different ways um, with different subject matter. But once you recognize that this is what it is, uh, you'll be able to answer it pretty easily. So let's dive right in and I will let you know how I would answer this and hopefully be able to give you guys some, some, uh, some good guidance on this. But let's uh, get right on it. So it says Kelly is eight years older than her sister, Mary. And Mary is two years younger than, her, than their brother, Day, Don. If the sum of their ages is 64, how old is Mary? So... We're looking for the sum of the ages. We know that all three of them together have to equal 64. This is going to be best done with one. Well, well, when you see this, you, you uh, immediately we need to know that there's going to be a variable that's going to take place of the characters. Um, and what we'll try to do is we try to do it with one variable to make it easier to get to the answer of 64. So on one side of the equation, we have 64. And on the other side, we're going to have the, uh, the, the variable with the three characters. And we'll go with X as the variable. So let's see where the common thread is between the two parts of the, uh, of the three parts of this question. Um, so we have Kelly related to Mary in the first part and Mary related to Don in the second part. So what stands out to me is that Mary, we can use Mary as the variable in this because we know we will be able to get to the other uh, character from Mary. So what we'll do is we'll set X equal to Mary's age. And again, the reason why we did that is because we have a direct um, connection between Kelly and Mary and another one between Mary and Don. Therefore, we can... Uh, figure out um, related to X, Kelly, and related to X, Don, as well, if we set Mary equal to X. It probably would work setting the other characters equal to X as well, but we'll use Mary because for sure she's connected with both. So if Mary's age is X, what we want to do is we want to get Kelly's age next because we need to get all three of the characters because the plan is to get all three characters and then add them together to get 64. Because it's what we're looking for is the sum of their ages. So what we'll do is we'll look at that first part. It says Kelly is eight years older than Mary. So if Kelly is eight years older than Mary, then all we have to do to find Kelly's age is take Mary's age and add eight to it. So we'll set X plus eight equal to Kelly's age. And again, the reason why we did that is because we know that uh, Kelly is eight years older than Mary and Mary's X. So if Kelly's eight years older, let's say Mary was 20, Kelly would be 28 or X, which would be 20 plus eight. Now the next part says Mary is two years younger than their brother Don. So we know Mary is younger than Don. So if Mary's younger than Don, then that means Don is two years older than Mary. So if Don's two years older than Mary, Don's age would be X plus two. And again, we see that Mary is two years younger than Don. So Don uh, automatically would be two years older than Mary. 
x plus 2. Now what we can do is add these ages together and set it equal to 64 because we have the one variable and we can have the 64 on the right hand side of the equation. So when we do that, we get x plus x plus 8 plus x plus 2 equals 64. And when we simplify this, we, we can combine the x's and combine the 8 and the 2 to make it look a little bit more, uh, more workable. And we get 3x plus 10 is equal to 64. Now what stands out to me here is that we have that 10 that we need to get rid of so we can have the x by itself. So all we have to do in this case is just subtract 10 from both sides. And when we do that, we get 3x on the left hand side. And when we subtract 10 from 54, I'm sorry, 10 from 64, we get 54 on the left hand side. Now, all we have to do to get the value for x is divide by 3 on both sides. Because when we divide 3 by itself, we get 1, which would be 1x. And when we divide 54 divided by 3, we get 18 for Mary because X is Mary's age. So we know Mary is 18 years old. Now, that is the actual answer to the question because that's what they're asking. However, we want to take this last step. And this is what a lot of people forget. And a lot of people don't uh, work into their, uh, you know, uh, problem answering procedure, which is the check. You want to check to make sure that the question was answered correctly so that when you move on to the next question, you know that that one's right. That way you can get to where you're doing 10, 20 question tests and you say, well, I know I got 19 right out of 20 and I think I got the other one right. Doing this type of thing will will make you feel a little bit better about the problems and it'll make you catch mistakes that you might have made. The way we're going to check in this case is all we have to do is set Mary's age equal to 18, figure out Kelly and Don's age from that, and then go back and see if it the sum of those ages is 64. And if it is, then we know that it's correct. So if Mary's age is 18, Remember, the first part of the question said Kelly is eight years older than her sister, Mary. So if Kelly's eight years older than 18, Kelly is 26. And if Mary is two years younger than their brother, Don, then Mary, I'm sorry, then Don is 20 because 18 is two years younger than 20. And if we add these three together, yes, we get 64 so therefore it checks. So always remember to put that last step in there where you check your work to verify that uh, it was correct and you'll be able to move on to your, your future problems knowing that you got that one right. So you'll have that little boost of confidence going into the next question. Um, so always remember that step. I hope you learned something on this video and if you did, be sure to click the like button and just remember, if you always aim at legendary, you will land in success. I'm out.